What's going on there guys? Good afternoon. It's the Earthmaster here on this Saturday, October 15th, 2022 date. It's about 12.41 p.m. California time. And the latest quake on the globe shows a 2.0 earthquake into the area of, uh, kind of looks like, in the Oklahoma region. Of course, notice the major swarm of activity. Look how high that thing goes off the globe. Uh, quite a bit of earthquake activity still continuing on the big island. Uh, let's go... Actually, before we go to the map here real quick, I do want to give a congratulations out to Jay Fuentes, 347. He is our lucky winner here. Where they are. Um, got a choice of a 17-piece mining kit, a $40 Amazon gift card, a Visa card, or potentially um, uh, Earthmaster merchandise. Congratulations again, Jay Fuentes, 347. Looking at the big island of Hawaii, Let's go the all magnitudes map here and, and check this out. Still a pretty good ongoing swarm of activity from yesterday's event. Uh, of course, they had a 5.0 earthquake and a 4.6 kicking off here along the southeastern flank of Mauna Loa. Things kind of rocking and rolling yesterday in a big fashion. Let me see uh, what happened to our 5.0. Let's see. Has it been past that time frame? Let me look here real quick, over here to the uh, largest magnitudes. Uh, where'd it go? <laughs> 5.0 disappeared. Maybe it has been over that uh, last 24 hour period there. It kind of seems like it's been, it was later yesterday, but that's all right. 5.0 occurring yesterday at uh, nine kilometers deep at 4.6 was just seconds before that five pointer. So things really uh, rocking out there. I do want to bring up last seven days of all magnitudes here in this area and take a look at all the activity that's kicked off here. A lot of shallower movement compared to our typical swarming fashion over here around Pahala, eastern portion of Pahala. Uh, normally this activity occurs around uh, about 35 kilometers deep and this new movement here has kind of triggered a much more shallower um, earthquake swarm in this area. So we're still kind of watching it, monitoring it. And um, overnight, at least, let's go back the last um, 24 hours here and see what has kicked up. Bunch of twos, bunch of threes, all this occurring following the five pointer yesterday. Has it done anything different, anything uh, major to the volcanoes? At the moment, it is not noticeable. So at least as far as earthquakes go, uh, just a couple earthquakes up around the summit of Mauna Loa and also up around Kilauea Volcano. Still, um, something to watch pretty closely i do want to check out the volcano hazard site here from the usgs and see if we got uh any updated information on the kilauea volcano stand by for just a second here just coming in from doing the update so little off balance uh let's see what we got for the hvo here this was put out uh looks like this was put out earlier today latest update on Kilauea Volcano. Of course, they're still talking about the uh, eruptive activity but has been confined to the crater. This has been ongoing for a little while now, since uh, about September of last year. Mauna Loa is the one we're kind of watching. Uh, it is not erupting. Looks like during the past 24 hours, there's been about 22 small magnitude below 3.0 earthquakes. Um, so activity is still continuing. Looks like over 100 aftershocks have occurred uh, in the Pahala region after yesterday's earthquakes. 16 of these were greater than M2.5 and four have been greater than 3.0. Uh, the earthquakes and aftershocks have not caused any changes in Mauna Loa monitoring data streams. So again, still kind of watching it. Looks like all concentrations of uh, volcanic gases are pretty stable at the moment around the uh, summit and the sulfur cone on the upper Southwest rift zone. We'll keep an eye on it for sure. Uh, I do want to check and see if, let me go over here and check out the seismograph stations themselves, see what we got. I mean, th these guys are reporting activity and um, just want to check for myself, make sure that uh, all the activity that's happening there is getting out. Mauna Loa, we'll go over here to their site and see what's uh, cooking over here. Right around here is where the uh, activity has been heightened. So we're going to check out the live data 
past 12 hours, past 6 hours. We'll go over here to the past 6 hours here and take a look. And uh, yeah, definitely still some activity kicking up here on the seismograph readings. Some of these smaller ones I don't think are being reported, but uh, the majority of them are. So good job there on the USGS reporting uh, those earthquakes there around the Pahala area. Let's see what else we got. What has happened since last night? Well, got some movement up outside of Seattle near the uh, Black Diamond area, Lake Morton area, it looks like. Some uh, somewhat deeper earthquakes around 21 kilometers deep, 2.3 and a 1.2. Northern California, this is an older movement quake there off the sh uh, coast of Oregon yesterday. Uh, got one newer quake out here along the northern end of the San Andreas Fault. A 1.6 and uh, some activity north of the uh, Lake Tahoe area down here in the mix of earthquakes uh, in the Calpine hydrothermal uh, operations ahead of uh, had a 3.2 kickoff here this is earlier this morning time frame of course we a lot of a uh, lot of hydrothermal plants down here and we've talked about this quite a bit um, and it looks like it's situated here within a couple of them. Notice these these little uh, operations. I've, I've driven down by them. Haven't I have yet to see them, at least far as the uh, how they process everything. But uh, there's a couple hydrothermal plants down here creating energy by injecting raw sewage down into the heated um, surface below to create steam somehow and and. Uh, and create energy kind of a <laughs> not something i want to talk about this or well, it's not really early but this hour lunchtime don't want to talk about that before lunch but either way some activity kicking up there today uh in the uh clear lake volcanic field further south a little spotty activity as we head down uh towards the garlock fault structure no major adjustments or changes noted uh and that goes for the same Got a fly in here again. I think it's the same one from last night. Not, not leaving me alone. Uh, not a whole lot of activity on the southern branch of the San Andreas Fault for now, but uh, typical day it looks like along the San Jacinto Fault Zone. Uh, some earthquakes ramping up out here across our region of the Candelaria Hills, including a uh, 0.8 the latest quake here in the little mix. Of course, this area did see some earthquake activity. I think a six-pointer back in 2019, if I remember right, aftershock activity came to a pause here. Um, I'd say over the past three months, we really haven't seen a whole lot of activity across this region. Now, kind of filling back in, getting a little bit more active in that zone. Also outside of uh, Las Vegas, up around 95, Highway 95, Got some uh, very small microquake activity out there in the desert of Nevada. Up here in Yellowstone, they're not showing it, but there's still some earthquake activity. Of course, the weekends bring about no data as um, far as it report, far as the re, uh, far as the activity being reported. That is, but I do want to go over here to the live seismographs. Luckily, we can access those and see for ourselves what's going on as uh, far as earthquake activity goes. And overnight some activity this morning time frame as well up into this afternoon continuing a uh, small microquake activity a good probably a good 30 or 40 of them in this mix if you want to count all these other very small microquake microquake spikes gonna need me another red bull so i can really jumble it up but uh yeah activity definitely continuing these guys there at the uh, office will probably get to that data come monday morning but on the weekend only 2.5 and above seems to be the earthquake activity that makes it through um, the the um, computer systems up here. All these other smaller quakes will have to wait until Monday until they figure out the location and the exact size. 2.0, Oklahoma. Okay, it doesn't really help us out much. We're at in Oklahoma. Uh, looks like outside of the Kingfisher area, this is the area that's seen a little swarming of movement. Over the last couple days, I think we got, uh, I don't know, well over a couple hundred of earthquakes north of the Kingfisher area. Looks like about 243. It has calmed down a little bit with not a whole lot being reported in the last 24 hours. But man, that was a pretty good swarm. And I'm not for certain what it's pointing at. But uh, either way, uh, still watching that region as well. 
One earthquake outside of the New Madrid zone, a 2.2. Uh, that one coming in looks like uh, earlier this morning time frame. Down into the uh, Puerto Rico area, things a little spotty. South America has picked up in some movement overnight. Uh, looks like the latest quake in this area was a 4.8 earlier this morning. Way down here, just outside of the Santiago area, down into the Peru Chile Trench at about 57 kilometers deep. Some other activity up north as well, somewhat deep as well in, th in that region, I should say. Uh, the deepest one looks like 104, 128 kilometers deep for a 4.5. All right. What else we got? The Big Island, we already checked that out. Uh, up into the Alaska area. Got some movement kicking up. Outside of Anchorage, it looks like a 3.0. A couple of these uh, looks like from uh, this morning time frame. Some movement around the Cook Inlet as well. No major earthquake movement, though, to report in that area. And a little spotty as we get over here to the western portion of the Pacific Plate. The latest activity here within this region looks like a 5.1. Over here in the Indonesia area, somewhat deep, 160 kilometers deep. Prior to that, we've seen some movement uh, up around the Mariana Trench here, outside of Guam. And uh, Philippines area getting in on some activity as well, 35 kilometers deep. Antarctic plate uh, looks like a 5.4. This one coming in yesterday, though. Notice that uh, UTC time uh, should be dropping off the globe or the uh, map pretty darn soon. All right, uh, let's see what else we got. Space weather got somewhat of an eventful day today, so got to get busy. Uh, not a whole lot of flare potential right now. We did have a sea flare kick up. Looks like uh, earlier this morning time frame. Not a big one, just a upper sea flare. Probably came from these departing sunspots, which are now pretty much out of view. 3112, 3119 over here, getting uh, way off on the northwestern side of the sun. And we're left with a whole bunch of, uh, you know, little minor stuff. 3121 does not hold any major threat. Uh, we'll look at the class here. It does harbor a beta class magnetic field. Only a 5% chance of a sea flare. This little guy is wimpy. And I think they better eat uh, their Wheaties if they want to uh, get a little bit more potential there for the, uh, for the solar flare activity. All right, guys, I'm going to jump off here. Again, congratulations, uh, J. Fuentes, 347. Hot caves down there. The seismograph station on the bottom side, left side. That is a station in the uh, Pahala, Hawaii area. Very close to our swarming, so that is the station to monitor and watch for some uh, earthquake activity. Although that one just coming in, uh, a little small microquake. All right, guys, have a good night. Stay safe out there. We will chat you guys pretty soon. Peace out.